Salman Rushdie, who kept controversy simmering in the Jaipur Literary Festival last year, and this year, it's political psychologist Ashish Nandi who has triggered a fire, something which won't die down very soon either, it seems. Now, Nandi sparked off a casteist row, saying that Dalits and other backward castes were responsible for corruption in Indian society. It's the oppressed classes, he says, who are the most corrupt, a remark which has already triggered outrage will also set the stage for a prolonged verbal slugfest from the powerful Dalit and OBC leaders as well. Now, Nandi went on to say that West Bengal was the most corruption-free state during the Marxist regime. And uh, this because he says and justifies that there was no Dalit or OBC who was in power in the state at the time. He also goes on to say that scheduled tribes were also jumping into the corruption brigade. Let's actually listen in to what he said. Also, minutes after that, there was a barrage of criticism which came his way. Most of the corrupt come from the OBCs and the scheduled castes, and now increasingly scheduled tribes. And as long as this is the case, Indian Republic will survive. Our OBCs, the backward classes, and the scheduled castes, and the scheduled tribes have come anywhere near power in West Bengal. It is an absolutely clean state. एक तो शायद उसका जो कहना है उनसे पूछेगा पर दूसरा जो मैंने सुना कि उसका जो कहना है वो थोड़ा आउट ऑफ कॉन्टेक्स्ट लिया गया है उन्होंने ये कहा कि जहाँ तक कि जब इतनी पॉवर्टी होती है या डिफरेंसेस होती है वेर इज सच अ बिग गैप बिटवीन द रिच एंड द पुअर यू विल हैव करप्शन ऑन बोथ साइड एंड दैट हैज टू हैपन बिकॉज द पुअर विल ट्राई एंड बिकम यू नो ट्राई एंड be able to they'll try and become equal with the others that's the reason but you clarify it with him dali samaj ke neta corrupt hote hain isi tarah ki murkhata karna ek achhi baat nahi hai aur main is unke statement ka dur adhikar karta hu aur unhone matlab ye statement piche lena chahiye nahi to unke upar kanuni karwai honi chahiye uske liye main rr patil ji se milunga ji jaipur mein jaro unhone statement kiya hoga mera manna ye hai ki koi bhi aisa vaktavya nahi dena chahiye jo ki दुर्गणों से जुड़ा हो और जिसका जातियों से कोई मतलब ना हो वो दुर्गुण तो कहीं भी होगा और करप्शन जो है वो स्पेशल क्लास जो शब्द है ना जिस भी क्लास के पास सत्ता या पैसा होगा वहाँ करप्शन होगा इस देश में चाहे किसी वर्ग के लोग हैं उन्होंने देश के बढ़ने में देश के को कायम रखने में उसकी तरक्की में अपना बराबर का योगदान किया है और मैं इस तरह से किसी भी वर्ग के खिलाफ कोई बात ना कहना चाहती हूँ तो सवाल ही नहीं पैदा तो मैं सुनना भी नहीं चाहती मुझे मालूम नहीं है उन्होंने किसने कहा पद्मजा जोशी हैज बीन ट्रैकिंग डेवलपमेंट्स एट द लिट फेस्ट इन जयपुर शी जॉइन अस फॉर लाइव अपडेट पद्मजा बनी लुकेट यू नो प्रोसीडिंग्स कॉमेंट्स कमिंग अक्रॉस फ्रॉम जयपुर इट्स बिकम नॉट फैशनेबल इट सीम्स दैट्स दर वन गेट्स टू मेक दिस कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल कॉमेंट्स स्पेशली you know the reactions coming on the organizers saying that perhaps they were taken out of context but just just take us through you know more words that you're picking up from that uh aditya actually ashish nandi did try to clarify he said that there's a certain context that i wanted to to make those comments in but that notwithstanding uh the writers who are over here have taken umbrage to the fact that he attributed uh corruption especially to members of the scheduled caste scheduled tribe hmm. and the obcs and uh The people that we've spoken to over here say that these are distinctly casteist remarks, and he had absolutely no business making them. A few cries also now that he be arrested, and before that, be made to apologise for those comments. Are it? You know, and Padmaja, I mean, away from the politics of all of this, you think that you know, comments such as these, you know, other issues in the past have also cropped up. You think it takes away, you know, from the main agenda of this literary festival? Well, that is exactly the fear that the organizers had expressed right at the beginning, which is why they wanted to stay away from all the controversy, which mm. they had plenty of last year with Salman Rushdie's expected arrival and subsequent uh, refusal, uh, subsequent uh, barring of his entry to the Jaipur Literature Festival. This time, mm. the emphasis the organizers themselves said was on quality literature. They wanted to have a dialogue between authors on issues that really matter. But unfortunately, in one way or the other, because of stray comments made by one of their panelists, now mm. a controversy has again been stoked. and this is exactly what the worst nightmare of the organizers are made of all right last word from you patmanja at this stage any you know formal reaction that we were expecting from mr nandi as well perhaps a retraction perhaps a climb down from his position 
in fact there is uh, immediately after during that session itself right in the morning when he had made those comments he tried to uh, you know uh, indulge in a bit of damage control he mm. said that what i'm really trying to explain is is that there is such a marked difference uh, in uh, the economic uh, status of various classes in our country mm. that often people who are backward resort to corruption to try and reach an equal platform to ensure that there is an equal sharing of resources that's the clarification he tried to give at that time that hasn't cut much ice but mm. in just about another hour and a half from now we're expecting another clarification that uh, we've heard as of now that Mr Nandi is going to organize a press conference to uh, try his hand at a clarification again other there but unfortunately controversies continue to tumble out of uh, Jaipur from the literary festival padmajawi keep us posted thanks very much for joining us